Hey Kate, I thought I should just let you know that I'm at mom's place right now. Huh? You're back at your mom's place again? Weren't you there just a few days ago? Yeah, is that a problem? Well, you should have given me at least a heads up. Look, she's asking what you were planning to do for Christmas this year. Oh, I'm still thinking about it, but honestly, I'm not sure what to do yet. Alright, just give me a heads up when you've got it all figured out, okay? Okay, so, your mom was asking if I'll be there or not. Yeah, she just asked me like 10 minutes ago. Got it. I'll come up with something soon, no worries. By the way, there's something even more important I gotta talk to you about. What is it? Can you make it quick? I'm having a meal with my mom right now. You won't believe it. She managed to get her hands on some incredibly juicy top quality beef from my uncle. And guess what? She even whipped up some mouth-watering beef stews just for me. The best part is she used her brand new stew pot to make it extra special. I swear, it was so delicious that I couldn't resist going back for seconds. Hang on a sec. Let me send you a sweet picture of me and my mom enjoying our meal together. I know you love it. Oh, okay. Don't we make a great pair in this picture? Honestly, it's hard to believe we're actually mother and son. I mean, just looking at us, I wouldn't be surprised if someone mistook us for a couple or something. But that's just silly, right? People shouldn't jump to conclusions like that. Wait. There's something wrong with this photo. Huh? What's the deal with the photo? I don't see anything off about it. That shiny thing around your mom's neck. Is that a necklace? Yeah, it's a necklace. What's so special about it? Don't tell me it's the first time you've ever seen a necklace or something. It's not that, but, you know, it looks similar to the one I own. Really? Maybe it's just a coincidence. No biggie. But. Here's the thing. It looks exactly like a necklace of mine that mysteriously disappeared a few days ago. And it's not just any ordinary necklace either. It's a unique, custom-made piece that you won't find anywhere else. Is that so? Let me ask my mom about it. Well, funny thing is, she mentioned that she borrowed it from you during her last visit to our place. So, there you have your answer. Satisfied? Wait, what? When did you let her into our house? Why didn't you tell me about it? And why did you just let your mom conveniently take my stuff without even asking me? So what's the big deal? Haven't you ever had someone borrow something from you before? You're acting so weird, Kate. Hey, let's be real here. Is it that time of the month for you again? Man, that's a hilarious joke. What's the big deal? Seriously? She went into my room, opened my jewelry box, and basically stole the necklace from me. Stole? Aren't you exaggerating a little bit? The necklace is right here, okay? It's not like it's gonna be used up or anything. Exaggerating? How am I exaggerating? Hey, just take a deep breath and try to calm down, alright? I'm sure mom didn't have any ill intentions. Let's try to approach this with a lighter attitude. I'm confident it's not as bad as you're making it out to be. Really? You're saying it's okay to go into someone's room without permission and take their stuff? A normal person would at least say sorry? Besides, it's not just any necklace. It's the necklace that belonged to my late mother, and I distinctly remember keeping it safely tucked away in the drawer. Well, mom just saw something she liked and took it. But let's be honest, that necklace suits her so well, doesn't it? 
It really complements her beautiful skin and gives her a youthful look. Finn, that's besides the point. You really need to have a serious talk with your mom about this. Make it clear to her that she needs to return the necklace she took to its rightful owner. What? Me? But I'm innocent. Of course it is. It's you. You're with her right now, aren't you? Plus, you're her son, which makes it even more important for you to take care of this. All right, fine, at least let me finish this dinner, will you? It's rude to disturb someone who's enjoying their meal, you know that. Several days later. Hi, Karen. I just wanted to thank you for the beef stew you gave me the other day. It was probably the best beef stew I've had in my entire life. Oh, don't worry about it. It's nothing compared to what you've given me. It's just a small gesture to show my gratitude for your kindness. My birthday isn't here yet, but your early gift totally made my day. I've got to admit, I was so flattered by it. I was so pumped up, I couldn't even sleep at night from all the excitement. Thanks a ton. I'm sorry, what? What did I give you? Oh, wait, I think I know what you're referring to. Is it that white dress I gifted you for your wedding anniversary? No, of course not. Honestly, I have no idea where I even put that white dress you gave me. I think I might have chopped it up into tiny pieces to use for cleaning the kitchen or something like that. No offense, honey, it's just not my style, you know. Oh, okay. Then, what is it you're talking about? Oh, come on, don't act clueless, you goofball. You know exactly what you gave me, right? Is that gorgeous and priceless necklace adorning my neck? It's so gorgeous that I can't even look away from it. Wait, hold on a second. Are you saying that you're still holding on to my necklace? Because I actually have it right here with me. Finn handed it to me. Mentioning that you already agreed to return it to me. Huh? What are you talking about? Finn told me that I could keep the necklace because you thought it suited me better. That's why I shared the leftover beef stew that my son and I enjoyed the other day as a way of showing my appreciation. Are you saying this to me for real? I promise you, I never mentioned anything about giving you that necklace. I think there's some major misunderstanding happening here. In fact, I specifically asked Finn to discuss the matter with you so that you could return the necklace to me. What? My son didn't tell me anything like that. He told me that I could keep it because you didn't need it anymore. How is it even possible for there to be another necklace that looks exactly like mine? It just doesn't make sense. Hold on a second, could it be that? Hey, listen, I don't care about the whole situation. All I know is that the necklace is currently in my possession, which means it belongs to me. End of story. How about you try being a little bit less selfish and let me have it instead? I'm your mother-in-law, so it's your responsibility to keep me happy. Please, Karen, I beg you to give it back to me. You have no idea how much that necklace means to me. It's a precious heirloom for my late mother. And she gave it to me before she passed away. It has always been a cherished keepsake. And I would absolutely be devastated if I were to lose it. Like I said, I'm not giving it back because I've already become attached to it. I think the necklace itself knows that it's mine now, it has somehow chosen me as its rightful owner, you know? Actually, it's quite fun to be worn around my neck because it knows that only I can truly showcase its full potential. It's like we have this special connection, you know? What? No. It's my necklace, and you have to give it back to me. I'm dead serious about this.
Look, I really don't want things to escalate between us. But if you continue to refuse returning the necklace, I'll have no option but to involve the authorities. What? Police? What for? Hey, you went and took my necklace without asking, and that's stealing, you know? You're well aware that the necklace is worth a lot, so don't expect your punishment to be a piece of cake. Whoa, Kate, you're trying to throw down a threat? Well, if I can't have this necklace, then you can forget about having it too. Wondering what I'm going to do with it. Come on, Karen. What's your plan? Can you give it back to me already? This necklace means the world to me, you know? Oh, trust me, I've got some epic ideas brewing in my head. I'm thinking of hitting up the jewelry store and getting them to melt it down, crafting a fresh new necklace just for me. Talk about a stylish upgrade, right? Or, do you know what? Maybe I'll just toss it in the toilet and watch it go down the drain. Poof. That way. It's like it never got stolen in the first place. Sneaky, huh? No. Please don't do that. I can't handle losing the necklace. It holds a ton of value for me, and you're well aware of that. Then say sorry to me. What? Say sorry to me, and I'll let it slide. No hard feelings, okay? But you took something from me. Shouldn't it be you who needs to say sorry? If this necklace means the world to you, maybe you can swallow your pride just this once and say sorry to me, right? Come on. Say it three times. All right. I'm sorry, okay? No, I say, three times. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now give me back my necklace. Nah, I can't do that because I'm not feeling the sincerity in your apology. What more do you want from me? My patience is wearing thin here. All right, all right, chill out. You're making a fuss out of nothing, you know that? Look, I'll give it back to you once my son and I are back from our Christmas trip. Wait, hold up. Christmas trip? What are you talking about? Wasn't Finn supposed to be working at his company right now? Oh, come on. Seriously? Don't you know what time of year it is right now? Um. No. What is it? Wow, Kate, you're totally clueless. This is our special time, just me and my son, you know. We have this awesome tradition of going on a trip for Christmas. It's all about bonding as mother and son, and it means the world to us. Every year, we pick a new place to explore. Wait, what? I've never heard Finn mention this to me before. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. Maybe he just didn't want to bum you out, you know? Finn is such a great kid. He always goes all out to create amazing memories and make my life complete. I seriously feel like the luckiest mom ever. Are you currently on a trip with him right now? My son really dropped the ball in this one. He should have mentioned the trip to you beforehand. Do you want to talk to him about it? Although, he's in the shower right now, so it might not be the best time to disturb him. I get it. You've only been married to my son for less than a year. So there might be a few things around the house that you're not familiar with. But don't sweat it. You'll get the hang of everything in no time. All right, I understand now. So, when do you think you'll be coming back home? Well, I'm not totally sure. We're actually in a foreign country right now, so I'm thinking you could take around two to three weeks before we head back home. But, Christmas is only a week away. 
If you're gone for that long, we won't be able to celebrate the event with the rest of the family when you get back. Yeah, I know. Our trip is a bit longer than we usually plan. That's why I'm counting on you to take care of everything while I kick back and enjoy this relaxing vacation with my son. You got this. And here's the deal. Usually, I'm the one who handles all the gift shopping, decorating the house, and cooking for the whole family during Christmas Eve. But since I won't be around this time, I'm relying on you to take care of it all, okay? Me? Are you serious? Yep, that's right. Look at how much faith I have in you. I know you'll do an amazing job taking care of my family. Actually, you should be happy that I finally accepted you as part of the family. It's a big deal, you know? But I... I... It's a done deal, then. And hey... Don't stress about the necklace, all right? I'll make sure to give it back to you as soon as I'm back from my trip. It won't be too long. I swear. Two weeks later. Hey, hope you and the rest of the family had a blast on Christmas. Sorry, me and my mom couldn't make it. I know it's late, but please hold off on opening the door till I get there. We're in a taxi on our way home as we speak. Can't wait to see you. Well, look who's finally back. Yeah, the rest of the family and I had a great time while you were away. I even took a few pics and sent them your way, but I guess you didn't bother checking them. No biggie though. All good. You know, our mother and son getaway ended up lasting longer than we expected. Sorry I didn't give you a heads up about it before. I really hope you're not mad at me or anything. Now that you're finally back, can I get my necklace back as well? What? The necklace? The necklace your mom borrowed from me? She mentioned she'd give it back to me once she's back from the trip. But I already handed you the necklace the other day, remember? Who are you trying to fool here? I know that necklace you gave me is a fake. What? How did you find out about that? Well, here's the thing. My mom, she was actually wearing the necklace when we were out in a super crowded place. Sadly, it must have gotten stolen by some sneaky thief when she wasn't paying attention. That's why I can't give it back to you. I'm really sorry about that. Wait, what? That's my necklace. She shouldn't have been wearing it around like that. She promised me she'd give it back to me once she's back home. Ugh, I don't know what to say. Fine, I'm sorry for what happened, okay? I know that stupid necklace means a lot to you. But seriously, it's not my fault or my mom's fault that it got lost. If you want to point fingers, go blame the stupid thief. Whatever. We're heading to our house now. My mom's tired from the trip, so I figured we'd let her stay at our place. So, mom's staying at our house? Yeah, exactly. She wanted to go back to her own house, but it's a long drive from the airport, and I don't want her to go home all alone. It's late and dark out, you know. If you don't mind, could you please make the bed for my mom too? She'll be sleeping in our bedroom tonight. Oh, okay. I understand. Whoa, seriously? You're actually cool with this? I thought you'd be against the idea, considering how you're usually not so keen on having my mom sleep over like this. Well, it's fine, really. You don't have to worry about that. Thanks for being understanding, Kate. I gotta say, you're the best wife I've ever had. Your support means a lot to me. One hour later. Kate, what the hell? Explain to me. What is it that I'm seeing, huh? What? Is something wrong? I just walked in the door and what the heck am I seeing here? 
Why is the entire house totally empty? Did we get hit by a burglar or something? Well, no way. Of course not. There wasn't a single burglar in sight. Then explain to me what happened. What's so hard to get? I've already moved out of our house, like, officially. It's a done deal. You what? Why did you do that? Yep, I packed my bags and moved out to a new place. Took all my stuff with me and everything. Actually, I've already settled into this new spot about a week ago. So now that I'm out of the picture, you and your mom can have a blast together without me cramping your style. Congrats, I guess. What the hell do you think you're doing? How dare you just up and move out without even giving me a damn heads up? It's your job to be at home, waiting for me like an obedient wife, and you think you can just disregard that? This is beyond disrespectful. Hey, didn't something slip your mind? You took a vacation with your mom and didn't even bother to mention it to me. So, let me get this straight. Why should I bother telling you anything about me moving out? But you have the nerve to take everything with you, including the bed and mattress. And now where on earth are mom and I supposed to sleep? You honestly expect us to crash on the ground? That's beyond unfair, you know. It's a total disregard for our well-being. Why should I even be concerned about that? Remember, I'm the one who purchased everything in this house, and I have the bills to back it up. You haven't contributed a single cent to the household expenses or paid for anything in our home. So, why should I leave everything behind for you to use, huh? It seems only fair that I, as the one who covered all the expenses, take everything with me to the new house, don't you think? Well, at least I thought of leaving you some light bulbs so you can see your way around. Otherwise, you'd be stumbling in the dark by now. Hey, I'm a bit puzzled here. Why did you decide to move out all of a sudden? Last time I checked, we're a married couple and that comes with the expectation of living together, right? It's kind of the whole deal sharing the same house and all. Can you help me understand what's going on? Well, we won't be husband and wife much longer. I've already filed for divorce and I need you to sign the papers as soon as you can. Let's get this whole process wrapped up quickly, okay? Nah, I'm not gonna go along with that. We're not doing the whole divorce thing. Nobody divorces anyone in this place, you know what I'm saying? It's just not happening, alright? Fine, then you and your mom are going to jail. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You got it loud and clear. If you don't sign those divorce papers I handed you, then you and your mom will be landing yourselves in jail, plain and simple. What kind of twisted joke are you trying to pull here? Cut the crap with a nonsense talk. Oh, so it looks like you conveniently forgot about what you two did to me, huh? Your mom straight up stole my necklace, while you gave me a replica of the real necklace to deceive me. Not only that, Karen even had the audacity to lose it. Let me tell you, she's in for a nice long stretch in jail. And this time there won't be anyone coming to her rescue. So what's it gonna be? Sign those divorce papers or watch your mom do time behind bars. The choice is yours. Stop blabbering. You don't even have evidence to prove that my mom stole it from you. Oh, let me tell you, babe, the picture you sent me of your mom wearing the necklace. Along with those text messages I've got as evidence, are more than enough to send your mom straight to jail. Trust me on that. All right, all right. Fine, I'll sign those divorce papers for you, okay? It's just unbelievable that you'd push your own husband to divorce you like this. Seriously, I never thought you were some kind of mob boss or something. Well, congrats. You made the right call. 
Now, let's just get this divorce thing done and dusted, alright? Time to move on and leave all of this behind us. The next day. Hey Kate, did you get those divorce papers I sent your way? Just making sure they reach you. Yap, got em. Thanks for sending them over. Gotta admit, it's a little weird seeing you do something decent once in a blue moon. Anyway, now that the divorce has settled, it's about time you and your mom had a little reunion behind bars. Huh? What on earth are you talking about? Let me make sure you understand this correctly. Your mom actually took my necklace without permission, and on top of that, you gave me a fake one instead of the real deal? That's not only theft, but also fraud, you know. That's why I've taken the necessary steps and reported both of you to the police. What? How did you suddenly turn the tables on us like that? You made a promise that if I signed those divorce papers, you wouldn't throw us in jail. What the heck happened to that promise? Honestly, why on earth would you expect me to keep my promise to you? All you've done is deceive me and treat me like some outsider. There were times when I didn't even feel like you considered me your wife. What are you going on about? You've always been my sweetest and most loving wife, no doubt about that. Listen, I'll do anything to make sure you don't put me and my mom in jail. Just name it and I'll go the extra mile. Heck, I'll even consider getting back together with you if that's what it takes. Are you a clown, Finn? I'm definitely not getting back together with you. Remember, I was the one who demanded the divorce in the first place. So now, I hope you and your mom enjoy your time in jail. Well, goodbye and let's make sure we never cross paths again. Finn and Karen were ultimately found guilty as charged and received prison sentences. Additionally, they were ordered to reimburse me for the value of the necklace they had taken from me. Prior to Karen's incarceration, her husband also requested a divorce, revealing that their relationship had been strained for an extended period. In the divorce settlement, Finn was left with nothing, as I had purchased our house before our marriage, and he had made no financial contributions to our household or possessions. Upon their release from jail, Finn and Karen grappled with the challenges of adapting to their new lives. Finding employment proved to be a formidable obstacle, and they quickly depleted the funds Karen had received from her divorce settlement. On the contrary, I maintained a positive relationship with my father-in-law and Finn's relatives, who continued to treat me kindly. With a thriving career and the unwavering support of my loved ones, I have strong confidence in a brighter and better future.